What's up guys, welcome to Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willoughby, and today we're taking a quick look at how to do this zoom transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Anyway, let's jump into Premiere. It's really helpful to choose two clips that match up. For instance, here it looks like these could have been taken at the same time. This is really helpful for selling the effect. Alright, so I've already got my clips dragged onto the timeline, and the first thing I want to do is go to the effects panel and search for the transform effect. It's important to use the effect instead of just the controls. Once you've found that, drag it onto your first clip. Now go to the effects controls and advance to the end of the clip. Go back about 5 frames and set a keyframe at 100% on scale. Now advance to the end and set a keyframe and scale it up to about 150%. Now highlight and right click both keyframes and select smooth in. This will help smooth out the animation quite a bit. Now go back to the effects controls and go down to where it says use composition shutter angle and uncheck that and type in 180. This will give you that nice motion blur on the zoom. Then on the next clip, repeat this process just starting at the beginning and zooming in as you go. I'm only zooming in to about 120% on this layer. And it helps to have framed your second shot a little wider so you can zoom in like this. If you haven't, you can always go the longer route and add these mirror effects. You're not actually zooming in then, but we aren't going to cover that today. Instead, I've put a free preset I've created for that part of the transition with the mirror effect in the notes down below. So you can download that if you're interested. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Echo Productions. I'm Silas Willoughby, and I'll see you in the next one.